welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today with another Dollar Tree haul. I have a couple things that aren't Easter and then the rest is Easter. This is just stuff I somehow forgot about it and I found it the other day. So I am going to start with this little um, metal pencil case. So if you guys get these, this one is already broken. They are supposed to have, in this little lip right here, they're supposed to have a little metal, um, kind of like a rod that goes through it and it connects it so that the hinge works. Well, I checked all of them at the store and all of them the little metal rod fell out of and wasn't long enough to work for the hinge part. So yeah, so Jackson actually threw this in the garbage and I had to get it out of the garbage. So yeah, I told him he can still use it. He just has to take the lid off and put it back on like that and be really careful with it. So just a word for the wise. I got some crafting stuff. I knew I had three of them in here. So these are really cute. They're by Crafters Square. They are craft stickers and there's seven of them in here. But they say laugh, believe, dream, love, inspire, cherish, and hope. And then they have, each has a little plastic button on there. But these are the kind of things that people make. And I was like, hey, I might as well save myself some headache. If you hear that. The children are playing Fortnite in the background and probably fighting. <sighs> so, these are for shaker car or like little shakers and for pocket letters. So I got the little, these are kind of like a hot pink pearl. So there's 200... There it is, 216 of them on here. So I got that color. I got this kind of baby blue teal color in the little pearls. I love those. And I got these, I just noticed they, apparently this was a return or it was opened or something, but looks like they're all there to me. But these are the pretty blue colored, um, they're not really gems, they're just like plastic with like metallic blue on them. But these are awesome for making the little shakers and for like lining your pocket letter pockets. So I got some of those. I picked up some of these Tillamook Country Smoker. And these are the Hunter's Sausage Smoked Meat Stick. I eat pepperoni sticks every day because I have to eat some kind of meat. Sorry, my cat is chewing on everything. He's eating, he, when he's annoyed, he chews on anything that's plastic. And he's annoyed with me right now because I haven't fed him yet. So he's just being a jerk. Next, these are for Jackson and his Easter basket. So we got the little Paw Patrol socks. So these are no-shows. There's one pair. They fit size six to eight and a half which is shoe size seven and a half to three and a half. So we have Chase and Marshall. And these were the only pups that I saw from Paw Patrol. We finally got the Ghostbusters ectoplasm slime at our Dollar Tree. So I picked up two, one for each of the kiddos Easter baskets. So they have the little numbers on the top. So I made sure to check that I got two different ones. And there is slime. Oh, here it is. So there's 1.3 fluid ounces of slime and then there's a mini figure in here too. So, I'm kinda curious about what, what the mini figure is, I don't know. Next, I couldn't decide on these which color I wanted. So I got one of each of the colors that I like the best. I'm trying to not make a huge bunch of noise with them. They are these, the little windmills with the bells. So I got these. One I'm going to use to hang outside. The other one I'm going to dismantle and do something with it. 
We also had the ones at my Dollar Tree with the welcome on the bottom and I had already picked these ones up so I just didn't want those ones but this one is kind of a you can see it better on the back it's like a kind of like a dusty blue color I guess I don't know but really pretty and then this one is the black and it just looks very rustic on the front so this is the one that I'm actually just gonna keep and hang up this one I will be dismantling because if you can see in the middle there I tried to dig through them and find one that wasn't all mangled but this one was pretty mangled so they are supposed to spin but oh there we go mm, eh, mine, mine kind of suck but those are just so cute and the last things that aren't Easter related are these baskets. So these, I mean, you guys can tell how long this stuff was sitting around because these are like, every Dollar Tree is sold out of these now, I think. So I wanted the gray, didn't see the gray. So I ended up with the turquoise and the navy blue, which is totally fine because these are adorable and awesome and I love them. So yeah, grab those. All right, on to the Easter stuff. So all of this stuff I'm sure you guys have seen by now, but I'm gonna show you anyways because I hauled it and I wanna show it. So first thing I picked up was this bag which has 110 pieces in it and it is glitter vase filler. So I have something in mind for these. So I was really happy that I was able to find them. I picked up another pack. I still have a couple packs of these from last Easter, but I needed a few more for something. And there's four of them in here, but these are just little twine carrots. These sold out so fast last year. It was kind of amazing how fast they sold out. So figured I would get them while I saw them. I picked up this little wooden bunny to DIY. I saw a really cute thing. It was like painted and it was polka dot and I'm hoping to kind of replicate something like that. We'll see if it works. I picked up some of the, actually I picked up both of the packs of the Easter words. So this one says happy Easter blessings. The other one said welcome bunny spring maybe something. But I already opened that one and used it. If you follow me on Instagram you would have seen the little bunny family DIY thing that I made for my mom. And yeah I had to use the welcome on that. So just this one. These, surprisingly, the Dollar Trees that I've been into, they've had a ton of these. So if you guys are still looking for them, they're out there. I picked up this sign that says Cottontail Crossing, Carrot Patch, and Easter Bunny. And then it has the cute little 3D um, figures on there. Not sure if I'm going to use this side or do something on this side. I haven't decided yet. I might, I don't know, I might do some kind of like Easter, or not Easter, like a spring something that I can keep up for the whole spring season. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm sure you guys could see this in the background because it's so huge, but I got one of the Easter, happy Easter signs with the little bunny feet. I love these. They're so cute. I'm going to leave it just like this and hang it up. And this has been on my wish list since I saw it on DollarTree.com. The little bunny butt blue truck with the carrots. I like the pink one, but I'm not super into the like bright pinks and purples and all that for Easter. I like more of like the kind of like the rustic-y looking Easter, I guess. So I liked this one a little bit better. 
I love that he has a little cotton tail. I got these. They'll probably end up on the kids' bedroom windows and on their bathroom mirror. So we got this one with obviously the blue truck. It says Happy Easter and glitter. And I love the like Ray Dunn font. It says hip hop and peep. So cute. This one, I think this one's probably gonna go on Jackson's bedroom window because <laughs> I think Jenna might have claimed the other one. And just has the cute little woodland creatures. And of course I had to get it because it's got hedgehogs on it, duh. So, and their little van or their little camper says Easter on top. So cute. Oh, now the cats are frolicking around. I don't know what's going on behind me. And then these ones I had to get because of this cute little chubby bunny egg down here. They just say Happy Easter and their glitter. And this one with the pretty plaid. I love that. So cute. And those do, if you store them flat, they do hold up year to year. I've had some clings since oh man jenna was like a baby when i bought them and i still have them so so next some of these um the kids are gonna do like a taste test with some of this stuff so you'll see it again in that video but i picked up these are by brox or brax um these are the marshmallow chicks and rabbits so I picked up a couple bags of these for us to try out. Picked up these we probably won't do a taste test on because I have a feeling they're just like the ones that came out at Valentine's Day. But these ones are egg shaped, I believe. Oh no, they just say Easter things on them. So looks like there's like a bunny and a sunshine and one says hippity hop. But four of them for a dollar, that's a really good deal. So if you're making like Easter goodie bags or something, now the cats are fighting. <sighs> we got these, which um, Travis already broke into. These are the original six slits. Okay, so you guys will notice that I am now in a different outfit, looking a little different today. I had a crisis happen, so I had to stop my previous recording, and now I'm going to finish with the last couple things I had to show you which is just Easter candy that I've been kind of picking up. The kids want to do a taste test, like I had mentioned before. So the last couple of things, these probably aren't going to be in the taste test. This was just an amazing deal. You get five of these little boxes. These are Brock's tiny jelly bird eggs. So they're just like little jelly beans, but five packs for a buck. It's a good deal. So yeah, I picked up some of those and they are like the perfect little size if you want to stick these in as a treat with like a pocket letter or something like that. Also, we have the Create Your Own Gummy Krabby Patties Candy. So it comes with eight top buns, eight patties, eight lettuce, and eight bottom buns. And... There's grape, cherry, blue, raspberry, and green apple. So, delicious. Not sure how those will be. This, the kids are super excited to try a taste test of this. I'm sure it's just going to taste like cotton candy, but it's jelly bean cotton candy. So, of course we had to get that. And the last thing, I see these at Dollar Tree every year. I have never picked them up. Oh, they're made in Indiana. They're the marshmallow eggs. Like, I don't even know what these things are. Are they like chocolate eggs? I don't know. So, yeah. We picked up some of these. Yeah, they must be chocolate eggs because there is cocoa in here. So, yeah. 
we're gonna give those a try and that is it for this haul I know I told you guys it was gonna be all Easter stuff but it ended up being kind of a mix of other stuff in there too so yeah I hope you saw some good stuff and I will see you in my next video bye